we're nearing the end of the decade. So we've got to put a list together, and our King's Insider, James Hand, has done just that. The six defining moments from the last decade for the Sacramento version of the Kings. Get the My Teams app. You download it. It's the NBC Sports My Teams app. And then you can also watch all the pregames, the games, and the postgame shows right there on your device. Anywhere you are, you've got your Kings, including the six defining moments. Time for us to, um, well, time for us to get cozy here on the program. Ford Kings pregame live. And Welcome to my abode, somewhat like the lady at the man here. <laughs> uh, Katie Hunter and Jim Cozumore with you. I really in enjoy your attire. It's Thank you very, very much. very nice jacket. Oddly, it looks far too comfortable, doesn't it? It does appear that I would live this way. <laughs> it does. You brought that from home, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Thank, thank you, Sandra, for allowing me to <laughs> exactly. use Exactly. We have matching robes, <laughs> yes. and so you're borrowing that one. Uh, there are some defining moments, and James Hamm did a great job of picking some of these out. And, and I think for Kings fans, it'll be intriguing for you guys to roll these around in your head because the decade has had a lot of negative, but some positive has come from that. And one of those situations is where we're going to begin. You go all the way back to April the 13th of 2011. It was the final game we fought for the Sacramento version of the Kings back at the old Arco Arena. And uh, I know a lot of people still get choked up when they see this event, but people were there and they were anticipating that maybe this would be the last time they would all get together to see their favorite team. This is our team. And Katie, maybe that's the biggest lesson in all of this. It was a great game, a double overtime game. The Kings lost the ball game. But as much as, as that happened, I think a lot of people banded together. This was that kind of a defining moment for the fandom as well. Well, the fact that this team ended up staying in Sacramento, it is a very unifying moment for the city and for the fans because this was something that had been kind of dragging on for a few years of is the team going to stay? Are they going to go? Had no idea what the Maloose were doing in terms of their direction with the team and what city or state they wanted to move to and so as they were concluding that 2010-11 season it was a huge question mark but we all know how that ended up yeah um it's interesting we saw on that there were tears literal yeah. tears being shed uh over this and this was at the time when the Maloose had them and I think this particular time was Anaheim was going to be Anaheim. the end result for them mm -hmm. and everyone felt well gosh this is the last time we see them here and they could la land in the pond mm -hmm. playing in that uh, nice facility they have down there but we saw the tears from the fans that was just part of it why don't we take you back to what Grant Napier and our good friend Jerry Reynolds had to say on that evening well I'll tell you um <laughs> Let me catch my breath here. There's a lot of uncertainty, as we all know. Uh, but the one thing that we do know is the love affair between this team and this city. And tonight, we say so long. You know, it's, it's, it's intriguing to watch right there. Yeah. It really is. It's because... Gosh, I wasn't there at the time. Yeah. You weren't there at the time. Following it closely, though. And, yes. and anybody who has worked for and covered this team over the years knows what it was like during this period of time. And even though we weren't there, we were closely watching from afar to kind of see what the fate of this franchise was. And for me, personally, knowing how important it is for the city and for the fans, um, how it ended up and how everyone kind of came together and that's that's you know the mayor that's several business owners people that put up their own money um carmichael dave who traveled across the country uh in, in, in an rv, RV. um with sean thomas and a couple other people uh they fought hard for this team and i don't know that that would have happened in any other city i don't know that any other city would have come been together heard the same way yeah. from another city yeah. you know i mean i think all those people were heard you mentioned the mayor kevin johnson deserves an awful lot of praise for making sure that this stayed here and his relationship with david stern at the mm -hmm. time is a big piece of the puzzle the 20 businessmen who all threw a million dollars into the pile to say let's get this thing started mm -hmm. we're behind this team whatever it takes we want to send the message to the national basketball association this is a city that deserves to have their team. It wasn't an owner's team. It was a community's team. And uh, I get choked up at the story of the lemon tree. Mm -hmm. The kids who were doing the lemon, I get choked up. They're doing a lemonade stand, and they were doing it to get the money to give to the city <laughs> to build the arena. Nothing says Sacramento more than that yeah. great story. And it's perfect. And, and how it ended up, truly, it couldn't have been better. Because sometimes I think um, 
in, in years, and this has been a decade as we talked about where there has been struggles on the basketball floor in terms of it has been a 13-year drought um, where the Kings have not seen the playoffs and the fans have not gotten to be in that environment and cheer on their team in the postseason. And what this did, I feel, is give a little perspective of, of yes, there are some tough times as a fan when your team isn't winning and they're going through it. But the fact that your team is still there and you have the opportunity to root for your Sacramento Kings, that kind of solidifies it for me. It's like, okay, um, no matter what, this team is yours. They're here in Sacramento. And now it's just about throwing your, your support behind them as they try and get their way back in. You've been, I've been in almost every arena in the NBA. Every city has great fans. There's nothing like being at a Sacramento Kings game at Golden One Center. Win, lose, or whatever happens, there's a certain energy and a vibe and happiness among the fans and the people. And well, I guess we say thank you for that. And thank you to everyone who was, uh, got together. I think Katie did a great job of naming just some of them. We know there were many more. Next time you go to a game, go to the Doco Plaza and take a look at that lemon tree, though. There's a neat little plaque for it, too. Um, it's my favorite part of going to the games.